22 Jump Street was released nearly a decade ago, and no subsequent traditional big screen comedy sequel has outperformed it at the domestic box office. This achievement marks the end of a box office renaissance for R-rated comedies that began in 2009 with The Hangover. 23 Jump Street was mocked in a sight gag during 22 Jump Street and was explicitly depicted in the film's end credits. Sony Columbia Pictures needed franchises, and the Jump Street saga appeared to be the answer. Rodney Rothman was hired in September 2014 to write a draft for 23 Jump Street, a Men in Black crossover. This strategy made sense because it could mock cinematic universes while injecting sci-fi spectacle into the franchise. However, due to Lord and Miller's hectic schedules, they were forced to hand over control of the next installment to a new director. This same year, Lord and Miller revealed the most intriguing detail about the proposed sequel. All of the sequels depicted in 22 Jump Street's credits would be confirmed as canon. James Bobin was hired to direct MIB 23, 